everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for Ink Road Stamps and I am going to be creating a super fun layout for you guys today. I am using two photos and I'm going to be using two stamp sets from Ink Road Stamps. Also the paper or the papers and the embellishments that I'm using are from the Damask Love wild card collection that you can get at Joann's craft store. Um, and the very first thing that I'm doing is I'm taking that rainbow paper, which has a diagonal stripe rainbow and it's gorgeous. Um, and I trimmed down some smooth white card stock and I matted it on that rainbow paper, which is so pretty. I'm going to be using this collection and it's super bright and very colorful and fun. And so right now I'm just trying to figure out which papers I want to use behind my photos. And these photos are of me when I got, and I actually am now thinking about it. And I think that I've already documented these photos. Um, I don't even remember, to be honest. I scrapbook so much that sometimes I forget if I've already documented a picture. Um, so these photos are pictures of the day that I got the stamp set that, or the stamp that I created for Anchored Stamps and it had my logo on it. And so I was very excited about that. Um, so yeah, I love, 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 love that my name is on a stamp set. So it's so exciting. Um, so I, Put the photo that's on top on craft foam to make it just pop up a little bit. Um, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that usually if I have multiple photos, whatever photo is on top, that's the one that's going to get popped up a little bit. Just it just adds a little more dimension and interest. Um, also, I'm going to be using this sloth paper. You're not going to see much of the sloths, but you're going to see them surprise for me because I normally don't use random things but I'm trying to step outside of my comfort zone a little bit because I really really love this collection and I love the bright colors um and so I was like you know what I don't even care if the sloth is on ice cream um I don't care I like it so I used it so I went ahead and did the layers here and then I'm trying to see where I want the flower it's a floral bouquet. So this stamp set is called Days E Bouquet. Um, so you can find that at Ink Road Stamps. I will have them linked below so you guys can get your hands on this gorgeous stamp. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I'm just using black Versamark ink um, and I'm using my stamp platform because this is a quite big you know, it's a bigger stamp and it won't fit on any of my blocks. So I used my stamp platform or you can use a Misty or um, there are several different stamp positioners that you could use. Um, so I thought that I was only going to do just the one, but then I decided, no, you know what? I think that I want multiple and that's the great thing about this stamp platform. You can put your 12 by 12 paper in and just move it around and stamp anywhere on the paper, which is great. So here is when I'm like, you know what? The one is just not enough. So I really just want the flowers and the leaves to stick out. I don't want the, like the bow, the bouquet part at the bottom where they're all bunched, you know, together like a bouquet. I don't want that part sticking out. Um, because I just want you to be able to see the flowers and the leaves sticking out from behind. Um, and I did it in black ink just because there is so much color going on on this layout that I thought that the black would just look really nice and it would be a nice contrast. So again, here is the reason why I'm using the stamp platform. It doesn't always, with a bigger stamp, stamp out perfectly. Um, and so you need that stamp platform or positioner to get a better impression. Um, so you make sure, you know, that you get a good impression. And then I figured out that um, this is kind of how I want it. I want it to be an L shape, kind of around the layers and around the photo. Um, so I'm stamping this last one, the third one. Um, and then that is going to be it for this stamp set. Um, 
The other stamp set that I'm going to be using from Ink Rose Stamps is the I Arted stamp set. Arted, <laughs> A-R-T-E-D. <laughs> Just so you know that I didn't say farted. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really, really love this. This is the first time that I actually got to play with this stamp set. And I just, I just really think that it's a gorgeous stamp set. It's really pretty. Um, if you've seen any of the other design team members, what they've created with it, there's so many ways that you could use this. Um, not only on layouts, but on cards as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and start adhering all of my layers down. Um, and get, you know, everything how I want it. And then I will use the other stamp set and do a little bit of embellishing. Of course, my ATG had to mess up. So I'm going to go off camera and fix that. Through the magic of editing, that is all done. <laughs> and now I am looking at the I Arted stamp set and I'm going to grab the Makers Gonna Make stamp. And I'm going to pull out three different colors of ink and I'm going to do kind of not really an ombre because they're not the same color family. Um, but I am going to just kind of get one color of ink and then move down and put different colors of ink. So a blue, a yellow, and a pink. And it doesn't stamp the best because I didn't get the pink on that well. Um, as well as I would have liked it, but you can still see it. It's a little splotchy, but you can still see it and you can tell what it says. Um, and I really like the different colors um, that it gives there. I just brought in several of the colors that were already in this collection. So I'm going to use the little rainbow from the ephemera pack here, and I'm going to pop it up on some pop dots. Um, and I'm just going to put it right down there in the corner beside the maker is going to make um, right there. It's super cute. It's got like an iridescent sheen over top of it. And it's really, really pretty. A lot of these little embellishments have the little sheen over top. So now I'm grabbing one of these little sloths from the sticker sheet and I put her up on foam as well. And she's going to sit right there on top of the rainbow. And I think she's adorable right there. Um, and then I grabbed a couple of the stars to do a little cluster of three there. So that is one of my clusters. And then I am going to, let's see what I'm going to do next. I think I'm going to try to use this yay because it's a very exciting moment uh, for me uh, with my stamp set that I created here. And so I'm going to pop that up on pop dots as well. And I'm going to stick it um, right there, kind of overlapping the two photos. And I'm going to grab some of the leaf stickers and kind of tuck behind the yay. Um, so popping out from the yay. And then I am going to grab a toucan, y'all. I am on top of all of these little pieces that have nothing to do with the pictures. I'm doing pretty well here. <laughs> um, so I am going to pull out a couple more of the stamps from the I Arted stamp set. I'm going to use the stamp that says On the Road to Recovery. And um, recovery is slashed out and it's underneath it says The Craft Store. Um, so super cute. And then I'm going to grab the little sequins stamp and, um, stamp those out there beside that. And then the very last thing I'm going to do is grab three more little star stickers and do another little cluster. And then that is my layout for today. You guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. So you guys don't miss any upcoming videos. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that you all have an amazing day. Bye.